Good day, tennis fans. First of all, I would like to congratulate Iga Jantek, her team, and her legions of fans, especially the people of Poland, for her historic win at the WTA Finals 2023, which we shall delve into in a few moments. Iga Jantek ascended to the WTA World No. 1 rank on April 4, 2022, and held it for 25 consecutive weeks until September 10, 2023 when it was taken by Arena Sabalenka at the U.S. Open. Along her march to the China Open title, she avenged her three-set loss to Coco Gauff at the Cincinnati Open via a one-sided straight-sets demolition of the American teenager in the tournament semifinal. With that win, Iga narrowed Sabalenka's lead over her, and by the time the WTA Finals 2023 started, she and Arena Sabalenka were separated by only 630 points. Thus, an added dimension to the WTA Finals was the battle for the year-end number one ranking between Iga Shantek and Arena Sabalenka. Iga can regain the number one ranking if she wins all her group matches and wins the championship and Sabalenka does not make it to the final. In her first match at the WTA Finals, Arena Sabalenka demolished Maria Sakari, 6-0-6-1. Iga Shiantek also did her part by winning 7-6-6-0 against Marketa Vandrosova. The second round of the round robin stage saw Sabalenka stumble as she was beaten by Jessica Pegula. 6-4-6-3 while Iga continued her domination of Kokogov by a 6-0-7-5 scoreline. In their final round robin match, Sabalenka scored a hard-fought three-set victory over Elena Rybakina in a match that featured several suspensions of play and took two days to finish due to intermittent rain. In contrasting fashion, Iga had her way with Ons Jabor, winning comfortably 6-1, 6-2. With two wins and a loss in the group stage, Arena Sabalenka earned 625 points and finished second to Jessica Pegula in the Bacalar group. Meanwhile, Shantek had 750 points for winning all of her group matches and topped the Chetomal group. Thus, going to their semi-final showdown, Iga and Sabalenka were separated by only 505 points in the rankings. To keep the year-end number one ranking, all Sabalenka had to do was to beat Shantek in the semi-final match. On the other end, to get back the number one ranking, Iga has to beat Sabalenka in the semis and win the final over Jessica Pegula, who trashed Coco Goff, 6-2-6-1 in the other semi-final. In the tournament's most anticipated matchup, Iga Shantek gave a performance worthy of the world's most dominant player, avenging her three-sets defeat to Sabalenka in the semi-finals of the WTA Finals of Fort Worth last year with a comprehensive 6-3-6-2 win. With the victory, Iga Shantek earned 330 points and shrunk Sabalenka's lead in the WTA rankings to 175 points. Sabalenka can still hold on to the number one ranking if Iga loses in the final. For Iga Shantek, the goal was simple. Win the final to get back to number one. However, the task at hand was anything but simple. Jessica Pegula had beaten her this year at the United Cup and at the Canadian Open both victories on hard courts. Like Shantek, Pegula had also arrived at the final of the WTA Finals undefeated, winning all her prior matches in dominant fashion, all in straight sets. The final was essentially a toss-up. The whole world was divided on who will win WTA Finals 2023. The rest is history. Iga Shantek turned in 
the most dominant performance in a final of the WTA Finals. Thrashing Jessica Pegula, 6-1-6-0. With the win, not only has Shantek regained the number one ranking and locked up the year-end number one rank, she also rewrote the history books. Iga Shantek smashed the record for least number of games lost by a WTA Finals champion. The previous record was 34, set by Justine Enna in 2006. Shantek lost only 20 games in this edition of the tournament. Iga Shantek also became the only player to have lost less than 20 games in the group stage of two consecutive WTA finals. Iga Shantek also became only the third player to win a Grand Slam, the WTA Finals, a WTA 1000, WTA 500, and WTA 250 event in the same year. Iga Shantek should win WTA Player of the Year honors and cement her status as the most dominant women's tennis player of this decade. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel for more insightful content in the future. Please hit the like button if you like this video. Share the link with your friends and feel free to comment and share your thoughts and impressions in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching.